Hey guys, welcome back. This is Disney Islands. Here we got our first scavenger hunt. So we gotta get two logs, and there's the first one. Okay, so one thing you can do while you're here on Disney Islands is you can fight Selfie, Titus, and Waka. And Riku. Now, a lot of people like to fight Waka because he can get tech XP from ugh, knocking his ball back at him. You gotta be a little better than what I did that first time, though. Ugh, yeah, there. And it's done. Easy peasy. Oh man, that really hurt. Oh, and if you listen closely, you'll notice this is a little different from regular Kingdom Hearts soundtrack. In the 1.5 version, they remixed all the music. Ah. All right, and then we have Titus on up there. And he's probably the hardest besides Riku. How is how is your day your day going? This one's going pretty good. Here's our rope, and here's Titus. Now, if you're just coming in now, just gonna remind you, I am playing on beginner, so that's why these guys are so easy. But the strategy you see me use to fight these guys and future bosses should be able to use those on proud and standard without too much change up. Now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time leveling, so eventually, here's our cloth. It'll be harder. We all like a good challenge, right? But I do want to get through this without dying 50,000 times, and that's why I picked beginner. And here's log number two, and here's Riku! Alright, now Riku is a bit tricky. You gotta be careful when he leans back on his feet, because he will nail you. Like right here. I think he will. Taunts me. Ah, oh, he's gonna be. Ah, oh. takes a little damage because it's beginner. But yeah, if you're on higher difficulties, this kick really hurts. Ah. He's really good at dodging. Don't tell me you're giving. And that covers it for day one. So there's a uh, there's a save point in this room if you ever want to save. We're just gonna truck right on. And we are back on scavenger hunt day two. So before we go and actually do what you're supposed to, if you go over here to Titus. You can actually fight all three of them, and that's the last fight you can do. Alright, so we're going to take Titus out first. Uh, not Waka, don't walk on the Waka. Ah, dang it. Some people like to take Waka out first, and that might be a good idea, but it's pretty easy to dodge his shots, and the other guys can really get up on you. I'm doing pretty badly. If I was on, um... Proud, this would be a close one. Ah! Come on, throw it again. He's trying to melee me. 
come on. Ah, see, I'd be dead if I was proud. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Man, you're unreal. And a nice potion. Ooh, wonder what that is. Actually, we'll go ahead and get that. That's the seagull egg that's needed for the next part of our scavenger hunt. Let's call it Flame Chakra. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so this race with Riku can be pretty tough your first time through. But I'm basically going to take the lower path. I don't like taking the zip line. Oh, I can't see that. Because I just tend to miss it a lot when I jump at it. And I don't know why. A lot of people will take the zip line and is the best, but you can pretty consistently beat him. Take the lower path. Now, right here, this falls down, so jump over it. Riku may or may not follow me. Yeah, he's following me. And this race isn't that hard. The only thing is that. If you miss one of these jumps or anything like that, it's it's all over. Alright, we'll just go back in here. And just mosey our way back. And one thing that makes this luckier, you do not have to jump back on these. You can just fall down here. And go back up over here. Two to zero! And yeah, if you haven't been able to tell you, Destiny Islands is kind of boring. It's meant to be kind of a tutorial level, but more action to come. Alright, we're going to get a little chest up here. I forget exactly what's in it. I think it's an accessory. Uh, protection. Okay. Oh, we're going to get this. Here's a mushroom. Another mushroom right here. Uh, here. Now Kyrie can give us the official list. And one last little thing. There's a shortcut up there where the star is. Take you back to the first part of the island. I relay that useful though. There's a drinking water. Oh, so one thing I should probably mention, since the upcoming fight, Year 3 Fish is here. Uh, since the oncoming fight with Darksiders is going to be really short, he's going to have one new attack compared to what he had before. He'll be able to slam his hand down, and it will, um, he'll, I guess, generate this gravity orb and throw it into the air, and he'll make these small gravity orbs drop on you for the, 
a good duration of the fight until he does the attack again. And that's his only new attack. Just he's pretty easy to beat. Just keep hitting his head and his hands whenever they're close enough. But unlike the first fight, this one's not optional. If you die, you die. So be careful. And here's our last mushroom. Now I did just skip that cutscene, but that is one of the most important cutscenes in the whole series. Just look it up if you don't, if you're not in the know. That is one of the most important cutscenes. Nope. Nope. Already got the seagull egg. I think that's all. Just for the heck of it. Full we'll zipline. Woohoo! Just like real life. Ooh, so this scene right here is exclusive to Final Mix. Just showing how Carrie made her charm out of the Lassa shells. So, you want to head over to Riku, over there. These Heartless all spawn infinitely, and your sword does basically no damage. It's not worth fighting them. And bam! Keyblade! And now you can take these guys out to your heart's content. This is one of my favorite themes in all Kingdom Hearts. Oh, there's so many of them. And here is a little familiar door. Hmm. And Darksiders. Alright, here he's gonna do his chest attack. And I'll probably be able to beat him before finishes. There we go! That's Dark Souls. And this is Traverse Town. It's another world! Okay, that wraps up Destiny Islands. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And as soon as Sid will hurry up and talk, I can call this part. Alright guys, if you enjoyed, like, favorite, subscribe, check out all Swarp's videos, they're awesome. Um if you have any critiques or anything I didn't talk about that you want to know, post it in the comments. I'll answer every single one. And, yeah, catch you in the next one.